Hope you are fine. Today we will discuss regarding the causes of receding gums and their treatment. First of all, the usual concept regarding gum recession is linked to age with old age. But in daily life, we observe that the persons with habits of clenching, daytime teeth grinding or night grinding or bruxism are more prone to gum recession. This is a very important cause which is usually neglected in the dental offices. Second and most common cause of gum recession is frequent tooth brushing. Over brushing like four or five times per day, horizontal brushing with hard brush. In daily clinical practice, we observe the patients with habit of using hard brush, especially the smokers use a smoker brush which is very hard in consistency and usually charcoal brush which is black in color. So these hard brush and wrong angulation of tooth brushing that is in horizontal direction ultimately lead to recession of the gum tissue. Gum tissues are very fragile, very soft, covering the root surfaces of our teeth. When we brush excessively in horizontal direction, the ultimate fate will be exposing of the root surfaces which are yellow in color. The consequences of hard brushing in horizontal direction is exposing the root surfaces which are yellow in color, sensitivity of the teeth and after that it is very difficult for you to brush your teeth with exposed roots. You just put your brush over the root surface and you will feel a lot of pain and sensitivity. Your gums are inflamed now. So it's very difficult to brush when your gums are in a receded condition, the roots are exposed. There is a circle or cycle, initial gum recession, the soft tissue, the pink colored, coral pink color. Then the underlying bone will also lose and ultimate the support of the teeth structure will become less with time and the teeth will be loose and ultimate exfoliate. So avoid gum recession otherwise your tooth loss will be evident in the future. Another important problem with gum recession is called sensitivity. As the root area is sensitive, whenever you eat some cold like ice cream, cold water, you will feel a lot of pain in your teeth. Even brushing with cold water will induce a lot of pain in the teeth area. Another important problem you will suffer with gum recession is decay in the root portion. When the gums recede, the root portion will expose and the root is very fragile and very thin and less mineralized. There, is, there are less minerals in the root portion. So it's easy for bacteria to apply acid over the root surface and extract calcium and phosphate from the root surface causing tooth decay or dental caries. The simple solution of all these problems is use a soft toothbrush. The filaments or bristles of the toothbrush must be soft in consistency and brush in vertical direction just like this from upward to downward, upward to downward in a gentle motion. You have to remove a soft layer of bacteria that is dental plaque and you need a very gentle force to remove this aggregate of dental plug. Another important thing is some persons have very thin gingival called as thin gingival biotype. The gums are very thin and very fragile and when you brush excessively they are easily <coughs> move backward. Another important thing is 
if you have previous experience of braces your roots will be prominent or in some cases anatomically like in canine area root is more prominent if you have thin gums and prominent roots then be careful you have more chance of gum recession in that area where root portion is prominent and your gums are thin the solution of all these problems <coughs> is gum massage with coconut oil at home you can do this remedy just put one drop of coconut oil on your finger and place over the gum area and move from upward to downward you can resolve the gum recession in early stage but when there is more gum recession you have to add a gum graft you can incise in the palatal area pick a piece of tissue and place over the receded gum area to cover it this is called as gum grafting that is from patient's palate area you incise and then place over the receded gum area very easy and very aesthetically pleasing and will lead to stoppage of sensitivity and root decay so it's but if recession is very wide or very large then it's difficult to place gum graft over the area so it's better to be careful preventive measures are better than therapeutic in this case hopefully this video will be informative to you if any question related to this you can ask in the comment box thank you